pals, ladies, um, whoever else is looking in. Nice of you to come back and thank you to uh, new subscribers. Uh, I think there's at least one. Thank you. <laughs> Tonight I'm going to show you this little book that I have almost finished. It's a sort of work in progress. It's something I, I practice on every now and then. Um, and it's made with toilet roll holders. That's the point of it. So each one of these pages is a toilet roll holder. Just like this one. I'm going to show you the process how I started making it. I don't know how far we'll get. I won't do it all tonight. The cover's not finished. There aren't any dangles. There's still a lot of work to do, but it's an experiment. So what you do is you collect your toilet roll holders. Here's one. And then you're going to cut Put it in half. There's no join on mine. So I'll just cut as straight as I can, like so. And then I'm going to start working on it. Obviously, it's going to do that. So, as well as the toilet roll holder, you need a bottle of glycerin. So this job is good for your hands. And because I'm messy, I'm going to put it on my messy tray. It is a messy tray. You just pour some glycerin on it. And you start to work it in like so. And it begins to become pliable. Like so. It feels lovely. Those lovely messy jobs. And you will feel it become more leathery as you go along. This one is in sections, it's quite likely that one of them might break off. But I'll persevere, if it does break off, I can sew it back on again. So I'm going to add a bit more because, as you can see, it's now soaked in. Doing a bit more to the inside. Today I've been working on the third cover for the collaboration journal, but I may not use that one because. Leslie said she'd send me a couple, and when they come, I'll have a look at them and see how they fit with, with the pages that I've got left. I think there were 18 people that participated, which was more than I thought would, so there's been more than one journal to make. The first one is blue. Uh, the second one is shabby chic. And the next one, well, we'll see. At the moment, I'm thinking gardening or flowers, that sort of thing. But that could change. But there were one or two surprises in the pages that came, notably Suzanne Hickman's uh, page, which made me laugh and smile. It was great <laughs> and very different. And I'll, I'll be telling you what that is, because I'm sure you're dying to know a bit later on, not tonight. Right. That's 
probably as much as it's going to take on this occasion. So when it starts to feel pliable and leathery, then you can stop. And I have to leave it overnight to finish. So that's that. As you can see, this one is mottled, it's a mottled colour, and the way I did that was with some spray inks. Which I'm getting a bit short of. This one is bundled sage, because now I'm going to have a job with my greasy fingers, aren't I? and you just spray it. Like so. That's the green. This one is a walnut stain. And with the walnut stain, I'm going to spray the bits I didn't spray with the bundled sage, which might seem obvious. There we are, and that's going to now stay overnight. And then tomorrow I'll do the other side, and I'll come back and show you the next stage after that. Well, thank you for watching and tune in for the next one. If you want to be notified when I post it, hit the bell underneath the picture next to subscribe because that, that way you'll get a little notification pop up on your screen the next time I post. So until the next time, bye for now.